Hello, my name is Annika and I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops and I live in the southwest of England where there is currently a heat wave. It's over 30 degrees today, it is evening, but it's still really hot so I got my window open because it's really really hot in here. Um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and please leave me a comment so i'm about to go live in my love of lace knitting facebook group and i'm going to record it on my phone and go live on my laptop i hope um i have had problems in the past saving my instagram lives not instagram live my facebook live so i thought i'd record it on my phone as well and then go live on my laptop so i'm just getting ready to go live um i'm going to talk about the Summer of Shawls Knit Along, which is happening in my Facebook group, where you can take part on Instagram, on Instagram as well. And I'm uh, going to give you all the details in the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Okay, I think we are live. Let's have a look. Okay, so we are now live, I think, on Facebook. I don't know whether anyone's joined yet. I don't know if this is working. Um, I'm a little bit early, um, so we'll see. I'm just going to check on my tablet uh, to make sure that I'm actually live because it's a while since I've done a live on my laptop and it's all changed and I have no idea what's happening. Okay, so... If you are watching the replay later and you're wondering why I'm just gabbling, um, I do apologise. I also need to know where to look. Um, I do apologise. Um, I haven't done a live from my laptop for quite a while. And I really, um, it's changed a lot since last time I did a live. So um, I'm just looking up the group on my tablet. I don't know if I can see who's joining. Looks like, oh, hang on. Right, let me turn the sound down on my okay so it looks like we are live because i can see it on my tablet so that's good i don't know if i can see who's chatting i don't know let's see where we are okay so it looks like we've got some people joining us according to my tablet thank you very much for joining us i don't know if i can get this a bit lower Okay, I'm not 100% happy with this camera angle, but we'll have to go for that at the moment. I am live on Facebook here. I'm recording on my phone over there so I can post it on YouTube afterwards. Thank you if you're joining me live or if you're watching the replay later. I will get on with it. It is very hot in the UK today. Um, more about that in a minute. But for those who don't know me, my name is Anakin and I am the host of this Facebook group, Love of Lace Knitting. And I'm here to talk about our summer knit along. Uh, which officially started on the 15th, which I think was Friday. Last week was a um, bunny, hang on. Right, so um, I don't know, we was, uh, let me start again. I lost my train of thought for a second there. So um, the official kickoff for the Summer of Shawl Knit Along started last week on, um, 15th uh, and I ha my plan had been to do a live on that day but last week was a little bit of a mess because two family members in Norway are ill at the moment one was in hospital all last week I kept like every other day I felt like I maybe had to fly to Norway at the last minute I kept looking at flights I kept one day I was thinking I'm gonna have to go the next day I was thinking that everything seems to be getting better I won't go and it was just chaos and I also had a design deadline and we're preparing for a workshop next this weekend um which is a last minute thing so I had to knit a sample which I'll talk about in a minute because that's this sample this sample here so it's been a bit of a crazy week so on Friday when I realized that it was the 15th I think it was Friday I thought I can't deal with this over the weekend I'll put it off to Monday and it is today the hottest day of the year I'm in my office I've got the window open because it is so hot it's been over 30 degrees here today it's not been as hot as it has been in some other parts of the country um, but whereas the last over the weekend we had a bit of a breeze and it was cool uh, cool breeze today we've had a breeze but it's been um, like sitting in a hot 
hair dry really it's been a breeze it's been quite windy actually but it's been a warm wind um so if you're watching live on um facebook do um comment oops i don't know whether i can see comments while i'm streaming uh oh yeah i can see some comments here um tell me where you're watching from um and if i can i'll see if i can see the comments as i am uh talking um we got beth from cheshire how hot is it in cheshire beth pretty hot i guess i've got it up on my lap my tablet so hopefully i can see your comments on there so if you have any questions as we're going along do tell me um I know I didn't announce this. I'm very good at announcing this or publicizing this or just I've just been a bad host in general, to be quite honest, in of this Facebook group for the last couple of years. But my plan is to improve that. So which is why I wanted to do this. OK, so let's get started. So I'm going to go through a few ideas of what kind of shawl. Well, first, I'm going to tell you about what the, this, this, this knit along is about, what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. Um, then I'm going to come up with some suggestions for things you might want to um, knit, some ideas, pattern ideas if you're not sure what to knit, uh, for different abilities. I've got shawls ranging from very, very, very easy to quite difficult. Um, I'm also going to talk about how to choose where you want to knit and uh, what to do if you can't get the right yarn you want to substitute we know there's a cost of living crisis in the whole world i think at the moment so we're all feeling the pinch so if you want to use your stash i'll have some idea for how you can substitute your yarn so lots of comments coming in on facebook i can't see them on my laptop i used to be able to but i can see them on my tablet so we got um anvita uh lynn from cumbria where it's very hot jane from derbyshire beth 30 degrees in Cheshire. Oh, and Vita is from India. So I guess you used to hot weather. Um, how hot is it in India at the moment? Um, I bet you used to hot weather there. So let's get started. First, I'll just tell you what's on my dress form. So this is actually, I flung this on there earlier today to take a quick picture of it. This is actually what I've been knitting over the weekend. It is holding a strand of DK and a strand of... Um, surreal pack and silk which is a bit like mohair silk a bit like silk case um from rowan if you're familiar with that i'm just wondering if i have a spare ball anywhere but i don't i think i took it downstairs it's very fluffy this is basically what i'm teaching my workshop on this weekend uh, i haven't woven in the ends yet they're all here but it's basically let me put it on for just a quick second it's a mobius cow it's a little bit bigger than i intended it to be but it was a bit of a quick knit uh, because I needed something for a workshop this weekend, which was a bit of a last minute thing. So we'll take that off because um, that's not a pattern that's out yet. This was in my dress form and I'm going to leave this on here as a undergarment for the shorts I'm going to show you. Um, so, and Vita said, are all the eligible patterns for the cow paid ones? Not necessarily. I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, not necessarily. So this is my design. I'll just tell you about this first. If you're in the UK, Knitting Magazine issue 233 is in the shops in the UK now. And that's my design for this month. There will hopefully be a video on that on my YouTube channel in the next week or so. If I am not too hot to um, film it. So that's what it looks like on the model. Perfect for the hot weather we've got at the moment. So let me just go through first what's actually included what the cow's all about what the knit along cal is short for knit along let me tell you what it's all about and what's included all the rules everything else so it runs from the 15th of july to 15th of september but if a lot of people are nearly finished by the 15th of september we can kind of extend it till the end of september if we need to there's like a little bit of a kind of leeway there um you can knit any of my shawl patterns and we're going to be generous here and say that shawls also include scarves, ponchos, things like that. Uh, and it can include, include any of my shawl patterns from my pattern shop. So shawls are patterns that you haven't bought yet. If you buy a pattern now, for example, I'd be very, very grateful. Or if there's one that you maybe bought in the past. I do have some free shawl patterns on Ravelry. Not very many, but there are some there. But you need to go through my uh, Ravelry profile and have a look. 
There are also some that I've done for magazines over the years that may be available for free on their website, but they don't always tell me what happens to the pattern after the magazine's kind of out of date. And the magazines don't always update the Ravelry link. So if it's, there isn't a link in Ravelry, I'm not that helpful because I have to Google it and you might as well do that rather than wait for me to Google it. Um, but you can use any of my patterns from magazines, the ones I've designed, from, designed for yarn companies, the ones that are available from my partner shops on Ravelry and Payhip, and the ones that are available from my books, Easy Lace Knits and Be The Lace Knitting. If I've designed it, wherever you find it, you can knit it. All I ask is that you don't download them from pirate sites in Russia and China and places like that because that does a lot of harm, but I won't go on into that now. You can finish and post photos of as many shorts as you want to by the 15th of September. We can be a little bit flex flexible about that date if we need to. So if you've started a shawl already, but you haven't finished it yet, you can include it. If you have just like a few rows or a cast off le left to do, then no, you can't include it. But if you have um, just started it, then you can include it. Um, and um let me have a look yes you can include it as long as you've got a reasonable amount left in it you can include it um the prices are i'm i will adjust the amount of the prices according to how many finished uh photos we get so i'm going to put up a special thread and i want you to post your finished photos in there i don't want anything other than finished photos in there one post per shawl because it'll make it easier for me to go through and do the price draw at the end and the prices and I will maybe add more prices if we get more entries but the prices are one of my online courses of your choice include and that includes uh successful lace knitting Scandinavian stranded color work and sticking continental knitting professional finishing techniques successful socks so you can choose one of those for free if you win the top prize um, I'm also going to do a price that's yarn of your choice from my website up to the value of £30. I will ship it abroad, but please bear in mind that if you win that price and you live outside the UK, you will probably have to pay um, customs fees and you're responsible for that. So if you win that price and you'd rather swap it for an online course, we can do that. And then I will also do some smaller prices of patterns depending on how many um, entries we get. Um, you can also post on Instagram for an extra entry. I'll do a separate price draw for Instagram, and the hashtag is AHA Summer of Shorts. I'll put all, and you need to tag me as well. My Instagram is Yarn Addict Annie. Um, I'll post all the details in the thread and pin it later tonight. Um, I'm going to do weekly live or pre recorded sessions here on YouTube on uh, here on youtube here on uh facebook in the uh, love of lace in the facebook group i will try and post them to youtube as well which is why i'm recording it on my phone while i'm talking on on facebook um i'm going to do tutorials q a uh, some of them will be live some of them will be pre-recorded with questions if there's stuff i need to demonstrate it's probably easier to pre-record it but i will do some live q a's and stuff as well so let's just see if we got any comments okay so some people are saying they would like to make shorts but not want to don't want to buy any patterns well hopefully you'll be able to find some free ones or you may already have some of my patterns um i am restricting it to my shorts because i am a designer and um i want to probe my own stuff so um i'm afraid that's why it's restricted to my shorts i will see if i get time over the next few days um I will see if I can find some free ones and post the thread of them. So if you can't afford to buy a pattern, you can get a free one. Patterns, I am actually offering, I think it's 30% off at the moment until the end of July. Um, but I'll, I'll put the code in a separate post because I can't remember it. I think it's Summer of Shawl, but it's available for all my patterns. So if you do want to buy a pattern, you can get 30% off at the moment. But I can't remember what the code is. Um, I'm not very prepared, am I? Oh, 
Okay, so let's talk about how you might want to choose your shawl knot. So you show you some shawls as well. So some of you may not have knitted shawls before and you might be thinking, well, why would I want to make a shawl? Well, shawls are great, not just to wear shawls, but also to wear scarves. I frequently wear them as scarves and you can get shawls ranging from huge ones to little tiny ones. Um, if you look for something really, really easy, this is my simplicity shawl and it actually comes in two versions and i find this great to wear in the winter under my winter coat because it's not too big you can also wear it as you know traditional shawl across your back or you can just like throw it around your neck like that it's the way it's mirrored in facebook is a bit weird so um it's a bit difficult to put it on uh, this is Simplicity and as I said it comes in two versions. Now Simplicity is a really old pattern that I wrote in 2010 and I've just updated it and I will be publishing the updated version later this week. I just need to edit and add the photos and like get my tech editor just to have a quick look through to make sure everything's okay. So it will hopefully, the new pattern, the new version will be live hoping by Wednesday but definitely by Friday I hope. Um, if you have purchased the Simplicity pattern before, you will get the new version of the pattern when it's available. I basically just made it better, I think, easier to understand. And because I've used the yarn that has slightly more meterage, it's slightly bigger. But it's a fairly small one skein shawl. I use one skein of Monastel Uruguay Fino. Uh, and we'll talk about substituting yarns later. That's actually that colorway. And then it also comes, it comes in this triangular version and then it also comes in this half hexagon version. So there's two versions in the same pattern, so you get basically two patterns for one. Uh, they are very, they are my easiest shawls. So when people say, I've never knitted shawls before, I don't do lace knitting, I need something very, very easy. Um, that's the ones I recommend. Another pattern which is due out soon, so this was originally published in the knitter i think it was the knitter um let me see if i can see it here um yes it was called a sun shawl it was a yellow shawl it was either in the knitter or simply knitting and i had my sample knitter knitted up again in again in manos and uruguay fino using two skeins it's quite big um and it's a triangular shoulder that's worked from the top up. Again, it's very, very simple and you can easily make it smaller. The pattern has notes on that. And this pattern will be out either later this week or early next week. I need to take some photos and it is too hot to take photos. Um, if you fancy something, again, something simple. So when you want to think about what kind of shawl you want to knit, you want to think about what kind of shape would fit your style what you would like to wear also your skill level so if you've never knitted shawls before or you've never knitted lace before a lot of shawls have different um the shaping can be a little bit complicated sometimes for the shawls so if you're trying to do the shaping and get your head around the lace knitting and you're not experienced in either, that can be a little bit much. So if you don't have much experience in knitting shawls, maybe you want to go for a shawl that doesn't have too much lace knitting. Um, that's maybe mostly garter stitch or stocking stitch, at least to start with till you get used to the shape. Um, but if you're experienced lace knitter you can go for something a bit more complicated most of my shawls do have some lace um i have got a shawl pattern coming out soon which is uh brioche but it's downstairs um i was hoping i would get the pattern out by the end of july but i don't know because we're still editing the pattern so it depends on how many mistakes i've made um this is one that's made of cotton uh this is 100 percent cotton it is uh, Shoppel, which is a German make, uh, cyberball cotton, um, and it takes two skeins. Now it's really, really easy if you have a shawl that's made of um, cotton and you want to use wool, or you have a shawl that's made of alpaca, but you want to use cotton, which shawls you can usually substitute yarns fairly simply. So quite often in sweaters and things, if a designer has chosen a certain fiber, there's quite often a reason for that. Whereas with shawls and accessories, 
choosing a different fibre is usually fairly easy. Um, so if you wanted to knit this one, but you don't want to knit it in cotton because you live somewhere cold and you want something warm, you can easily just knit this in wool instead. The main thing you need to look at when it comes to substituting yarns, um, normally I would say look at the um, uh, fibre blend, so whether it's wool, cotton, silk, whatever, and choose something similar. But I think for shawls you don't need to worry about that. Um, but look at um, how many metres or yards you have per skein size. So this is 100 grams and it has 450 metres per 100 gram. Let me just grab one of these. This is also 100 grams, but this has 400 metres, I think. Let me just find it. What does it say 400 metres? Pretty sure it's 400 meters but i want to just make sure but i can't find it they've got new labels so there we are um yeah this is 400 meters it's 100 grams 400 meters 100 grams 450 meters this is what i used for that this shawl so if i wanted to knit this shawl but i only had 400 meters 100 gram that was 400 meters um i would have to cast off early probably um, so certain shawls like the simplicity you can easily cast off early the same thing with the Catalina shawl whereas other shawls like this one which is the candy cane shawl um, let me just hold this up because you start again it's a big shawl because you start up here with just a few stitches and then you gradually increase along the top edge and then you end in this lazy edging at the bottom here so casting off early is a lot more difficult because you'll miss out the lazy edging so that makes it a little bit more difficult so the main thing to substituting sh yarn for shawls is to look at the skein size and the meterage so if you have the pattern is written for yarn that has 400 meters per 100 grams and it takes one skein you can choose another yarn that has 400 meter per 100 grams if it has 450 meters per 100 gram you'll be fine it'll just be a little bit thinner um and you'll have a little bit too much yarn left over at the end if it is 800 meters per 100 gram it'll be half the thickness it'll be a lace weight yarn so you will have to go down a needle size as well okay any questions ask um right let me just have a look at comments uh jane mcdonald said you can do a search on ravelry in anakin store for free patterns that's true um i will put a link up later with all the all the links to all my pattern places um okay so carla says i have lots of alpaca silk but in 50 gram aliens aliens is that autocorrect that's at at the play here is that should that be balls i don't know anyway 50 gram lots how do we join yarn properly for lace weight okay i might do a separate tutorial for that because it's probably easier if i could film it and show you but there are different joints that you can do depending on uh what the fiber is you can do what's called a spit spit splice join which i use a lot for pure wool yarns you can do other joints that i don't use very often you can knit them in um i will make a note of that let me just write that down quickly and then i will do that as one of my tutorials probably next week so let me just quickly write that down um join yarn lace weight okay so i'll do that as one of my tutorials um next week i'll try and record it this week and do it next week um okay let's look at some other things what, what are we doing for time we've been on here for 23 minutes i don't want to go over half an hour because it's very very hot if you're thinking i don't really wear shawls you can do a poncho i have several of these kind of poncho patterns which are kind of shawl shaped but they're knitted in the round i really don't want to put this on because it's so hot but let's put it on anyway um this one is actually i've actually stitched up the bottom the points at the bottom on the side here so it kind of has like on the sleeves um it's very hot to be wearing this so you can see it kind of has here it's kind of stitched together but this would this looks like a shawl but it 
it stays on because it's a poncho. But it's very, very light. It's knitted in lace weight yarn, which has 800 meters per 100 grams. So it's very, very light. And it's one that you can adjust the size of quite easily because the chart for the edging, it also has beads on the edging. Can you see that? don't know if my webcam picks that up. My phone does. So if you can't see it, go over on YouTube. Um, on YouTube, by the way, for those watching on YouTube later, I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, something like this, you can actually um, finish earlier. So if you want a smaller version, you can do the edging after any of the other charts. I do have a tutorial, I'm pretty sure, on my blog where I talk about how easy it is to make shawls bigger and smaller. So I will see if I can find the link to that and post that in the Facebook group in the next couple of days. Okay, how are we doing for time? Any other questions, please ask me. Just checking any comments we have. If you're watching on YouTube and you have any questions, please just post them below and I'll answer those later. If you are thinking I it's cold where I live, I mean, some of you might be watching from australia or somewhere cold um somewhere where it's winter at the moment or you might think i don't really wear knit for in the summer i'd rather knit something for the winter if you want stuff to wear in the winter in the autumn and winter now you probably should start thinking about knitting it now this i really don't, don't want to put on so i'm going to put on my dress form this is really thick this is knitted in iron weight yarn and it is a poncho that's knitted as a rectangle so it's knitted as a rectangle, there's a long rectangle, and then it is seamed together along. The rectangle is folded in half and then it's seamed together here for the um where there's a hole left for the head. So it's cast on here, knitted that way, cast up at the back here, and then you just sew it up here to um and leave a hole for the head. So that's really nice. I like those kind of ponchos. Um this is knitted in iron weight. You could also do this in a thinner yarn, just reduce your needle size. I also have a really thick shawl, um, which I designed for the Knitter magazine, but it's available from my Ravelry shop as well. And I cannot remember what it's called. It's tra something or other. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I think it starts with T. Um, let's have a quick look. I have a lot of patterns. Oh, Trabar with Valley. I should remember that. Trabar with Valley. Trabar with Valley, it's called. And this is knitted in, I think it's a thousand meters of DK yarn. It's quite big and it's really thick. It's knitted in um Sheppies, Sheepies, Sheppies, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh Whirly Whirly Gig. I think it is something like that. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful, but it's quite warm, quite thick. Um Let's put that one down again. Then we've got a very fine lace weight shawl. So if you've knitted loads of lace before and you're quite comfortable with lace, you might want to choose something a bit finer, a bit more delicate, like this one, which is called Knightsbridge, which was originally published in a book about, um, it was like a yarn shopping guide to London. Uh, but it's available from my website or from my Ravelry and um hip shop now i'm just looking for another pattern um oh there it is this one is actually i'm actually in the process of having this knitted up by one of my sample knitters this is called gavotte 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 i don't know the it was originally in the knitter magazine and they named it but can you see the amazing beads it's got loads of beads it is absolutely beautiful this one is knitted in a fussy alpaca i'm having the new version knitted in this yarn not this color i think it's a gray color i can't remember but um this is beautiful so if you very experienced lace knitter you might want to have a go at this it's knitted just as a rectangle so there's no shaping so you can just focus on the lace and the beads there is a tutorial for adding beads on my website uh carla asked uh did you ask if did you say if the poncho was iron weight yes the poncho is iron weight this poncho is iron weight and it's called Autumn Slows. Autumn Slows uh, is knitted in an iron weight yarn from a local yarn company where I live in Cornwall. 
uh, called Gorgeous Yarns. Um, I can't remember how much it takes. It was originally in the Knitter magazine. So if you have loads of copies of the Knitter magazine, you probably already have the pattern. And if not, you can get it from our Ravelry and Pay Hip shops. Uh, but it's iron weight. And with the energy prices here in Europe at the moment, we probably will need this next winter because we won't be able to afford to put the heating on. So knitting some iron weight ponchos is probably not a bad idea. Okay, I've been on for half an hour now, so and I said I wouldn't do more than half an hour. My husband and my daughter have gone out so that I would have the house to myself. Um, and they're due home any minute. So I'm gonna finish now. If you have if anyone got any questions, ask. If I'm also gonna put up a thread in the Facebook group uh where you can ask questions. Um so if you have any questions, anything you'd like me to do a tutorial on, do leave the comment there. I try and remember to do it tonight, but I might do it tomorrow because I'm really, really tired. This heat is making me very tired and I want to have an early night tonight because I need to get up early tomorrow. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not in the Facebook group, then please consider joining. I'll put the link below. And if you have any questions, if you want to take part and you don't want to do Facebook for whatever reason, you can take part on Instagram and you can post your questions below this video and I will um, post the tutorials on YouTube as well just to try and make it more inclusive because I know not everyone likes uh, Facebook. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I will try and vary the times I do these lives. Uh, for me, it's best to do them in the afternoon, but then I realised that for the time zones and people working here in the UK, it might not work. So I will vary the times I do these lives just to make sure that as many people can join as possible. I know in the heat wave in the UK, it's probably not the best time to be talking about knit along, but a lot of people in the group are not from the UK. So I will try and do some evening ones, some afternoon ones, some pre-recorded ones. Um, we'll see. Next two weeks is going to be really busy because at the end of next week, the last weekend in July, I'm away for the Summer Wool Festival. Um, Summer Wool Festival, 30th and 31st of July in Amped Hill near bedford uh north of london i think if you're in the uk um so summerwoolfestival.co.uk so if you are going to be there come and say hello uh, i'm going to be there so the next two weeks i'm really busy but then after that things calm down a bit for august at least so thank you very much for joining me uh, i really appreciate it and i will see you next time thanks for watching and if you want to know what the discount is 